Hey folks, welcome back. Pop Retro, Pop Retro One on Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, you can follow me there. Pop Retro One on Instagram, Facebook.com slash Pop Retro. Wanted to get into the Christmas spirit just a little bit here uh, with this little review, a uh, little rundown of a film called Christmas in the Smokies. Now, this is a film, a DVD. Uh, from INSP Films and uh, Imagicom Entertainment, distributed by Mill Creek Entertainment. So Mill Creek uh, was kind enough to send me this copy of Christmas in the Smokies. Now, this, as far as I can tell, this aired as a TV movie on uh, the INSP Network, which I think INSP stands for, you know, short for inspiration or inspirational network. Um, I believe they actually call it by its letters INSP, but I don't really know much about this TV network. It's a, uh, maybe a streaming network too, but, uh, but it is on the satellite. It is on cable systems and uh, its slogan is heroes live here. So, um, and just uh, taking a look at uh, some of their historical uh, programming. It does look like it was, uh, or it is, uh, something that is geared toward family viewing and perhaps uh, maybe even some uh, religious Christian uh, viewing. And so this definitely fits that bill. And this was one of five movies um, that Mill Creek sent and released in November, leading up to uh, the December uh, Christmas time. And uh, they all have this bow at the top that says Christmas Collection. So this is one of five that are in this Christmas collection. Now, there may be more, you know, these are just the five that uh, Mill Creek distributed this month and sent out. And so uh, I will interview this, interview this, <laughs> review this, um, at the website moviesanddrinks.com. And so um, check that out for written reviews. That's where you can find a lot of my written work at the uh, the blog moviesanddrinks.com. So uh, and you'll find a review for this up there, which I'll be putting up very, very soon, and hopefully getting to the other films uh, before too long, as Christmas is coming right up. Uh, nonetheless, this is, um, this is one of those movies that you... Uh, Gosh, you could you can sit down and watch it with the family if you just like some good family fun that's not offensive. It's not going to be uncomfortable um, in general, and um, it's got that down home country feel. And uh, um, essentially, the 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 lead character, which is played by Sarah Lancaster, she is she's still living at home uh, with her parents and. They own and operate a berry farm, okay? And of course, what is going to happen to that berry farm? Well, an evil developer has been buying up all the land in their little rural town. And the bank loan is coming due um, for uh, the family's berry farm. And so uh, uh, it turns out that this woman... Sarah Lancaster's character, her ex-boyfriend from high school who left without saying a word that she's been pining for ever since, and all these characters I think are in their late 30s, well apparently he's gone off and he is now a country music star. I don't, maybe not a big star, but he's known as a country music singer because he's coming back to their small town and he's, uh, He's, he's putting on some fundraisers for like uh, local charities and things like this when it's a big deal in the town. And so, of course, will they or won't they hook back up? And also, is his being back home in town perhaps, um, coincidentally, uh, could that be a help for uh, this family keeping the farm? Sounds like an episode of the Dukes of Hazard. you know, Uncle Jesse's farm is, you know, uh, on the chopping block. And you can probably predict what's going to happen here. But that's the thing, that's the beauty with some of these movies, is their predictability and just that warm, fuzzy feeling you get from watching uh, these family movies. Um, 
the uh, I took a look at you know the cast is is kind of a kind of fun. You got Sarah Lancaster first of all, um, probably best known as uh, for her role as Ellie on the TV series Chuck. She was also in Everwood and Saved by the Bell, the new class. Um, her ex-boyfriend, who plays the country music singer who comes back to town, played by Alan Powell. I didn't remember him, but he was a guy, he played a character named Mike McQuig in the TV series Quantico, um, which I, I liked. I watched not a ton of it, but what I did watch back when Quantico was on a couple years back, I enjoyed it. Uh, and also, interestingly, he's uh, Alan Powell, the co-founder of a company called Monarch Media in Los Angeles, and he has some writing and producing credits under his belt uh, to go along uh, with his acting. So, uh, a, a fairly accomplished, accomplished guy, um, and he can And he, uh, he's one of the few. It, uh, um, that didn't have a, a Wikipedia page. So I had to do a little digging and on his IMDb page, it, it, it spells that out. I, well, that's pretty cool. Um, the, uh, the Sarah Lancaster's parents in this movie are played by a couple of old pros and they're just, they're, they're pretty, they're kind of funny just in the way they play the part. Um, Barry Corbin, he plays uh, the good old boy dad. Uh, he was Maurice in Northern Exposure, and uh, apparently he had a part this year in the TV series Yellowstone, which I've not watched, but God, my parents, my mom loves Yellowstone, and a lot of people I know like Yellowstone, and I, I didn't realize I actually have the uh, first season of Yellowstone on DVD, and I haven't watched it yet, so I may actually get that out and give it a go, since I haven't uh, sampled Yellowstone yet. Uh, Rebecca Kuhn plays the mom. She played... Uh, Three episodes uh, in three episodes of The Walking Dead, and she was also Aunt Georgia in uh, the movie The Notebook back in uh, 2004, and uh, had a nine episode stint in the early 90s series I'll Fly Away, which I vaguely remember from back when I was in high school. Now, the slimy developer was played by an actor named Brett Rice, you know, the guy he's buying up all the land, and he just he really plays up the the bad guy part, and I, I thought he played it really fun. It made it fun to watch because he's just so he's just so slimy and evil. It just but but in kind of a that it, it, it's so over the top you you can't help but but laugh. Again, it's really inoffensive, you know, um, despite what he's doing being offensive, perhaps if it was in real life. But this guy uh, Brett Rice, he's had roles in tons of audience favorites such as uh, uh, Forrest Gump. Remember the Titans, Monster, and Super 8, uh, along with a, a bunch of other uh, movies. Uh, uh, um, Gregory Allen Williams is also in this. He is an actor who played in one of my favorite series, Baywatch. Um, he was in Baywatch. He plays the local, the owner of the local company store, and he's also the mayor of this little small town here in the Smokies. Um, and then there's a, a small part by Jill Wagner, and um, she only plays a small role here as Sarah Lancaster's character's friend. Um, and uh, she did, gosh, six episodes of MTV's Punked back in the day, back in 03. And a lot of uh, like reality show stuff. She co-hosted Wipeout, participated, I think, in Dancing with the Stars or helped uh, maybe do some co-hosting on there. Um, Inside the Vault and Hell's Kitchen. So a lot of reality style stuff. And she's acted in tons of Hallmark TV movies and movies just like this on networks like INSP. So a lot of TV movies. And uh, I just thought she was worth mentioning uh, from the from the cast. So a quick look at the DVD. It's uh, no frills really, you know, pretty standard. Here's a look at the back of the box. A couple of shots there. And uh, there's some of the production um, companies that uh, are putting this out. Mill Creek's not listed anywhere. It's not on the spine. It's not on the on the back. And so, um, you know, I, they truly are just uh, one of the distributors, I believe, um, for these uh, Imagicom titles. Open it up. Here's a look at the disc. Okay. And I don't think there's a reversible artwork on something like this. No, no reversible artwork. And so there you go. This was released in 2015. So this was the earliest of the five um, Christmas collection movies in this 
set that or the five that they sent this past month. So 2015 was was the oldest one, and uh, the newest one is right up to 2021. So um, I'm going to guess that some of the same actors are in some of these movies. And uh, special features on this one, there's a trailer, some behind the scenes and cast interviews. I did check those out and uh, they're, they're kind of fun, but they're very uh, superficial. You know, I, I don't, it's been a while since I actually uh, popped this in. So now I can't remember what they, but it was really like, uh, you know, what's your favorite color, you know, type of stuff. So, so uh, nothing real special with the special features, but the fact that something like this actually even has some extra content, you know, is, is pretty cool because this is not a, a big time production. It's a TV movie on a cable channel that I don't think tons of people watch. So, um, so yeah, if you, uh, if you're into uh, kind of cheesy Hallmarky style movies, um, stuff that you can sit down and watch with your mom if your mom is like mine and just loves this uh rural small timey stuff if you grew up watching the dukes of hazard and little house on the prairie and andy griffith and things like that then you can stick to pop this in and it can be nice and safe uh viewing and yes it's familiar yes it's predictable but sometimes i think that's just what the doctor ordered it's kind of nice to have just kind of that fuzzy feeling uh, for 90 minutes that you can just enjoy and and uh, know that everything's going to be hopefully all right in the end. So there you have it. Christmas in the Smokies 2015. Thank you, Mill Creek Entertainment, for sending this my way. And uh, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And I'll be back soon with another video and another review. And I'll talk to you then.